Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 16 of Healing Good for Cure, so let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, but Nanduka wants to. <laughs> I think the one I got is the Crunch Rosa. Because they just named her. It's still Latte. But it ain't no L. It's an R. That's, one of, that's the first name of the day. All I know is like everybody was freaking out about this episode for some weird reason. I don't know because I have been avoiding anything pretty here on Twitter for the past like how many hours? So I haven't been spoiled on anything, thank God. <laughs> But whatever it is, I've been in tonight. This internal tree is just reminds me of freaking um Twilight about Hanukkah with the love tree. Uh oh. That can't be the tree. You're gonna tear it down? Honestly, I don't know. He also has a connection to it as well. Oh, 
Got something to grow up with this tree. Oh, and it would be two guys and a girl, and he was one of them. <laughs> Just do it. And if all three of them come together, it's not going to be cut down. That's that Hibiki that's talking. Oh, you wanted to call him. Mm hmm. Are familiar to her. Mm -hmm. They're married to each other. Mm -hmm. That must have looked like their friendship apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he fought over her. Of course, when it is one girl and two guys, yeah, something is bound to happen. I mean, my goodness.
You wouldn't come if you still didn't believe. Don't be so hard on yourself. I said he be he talking. Even if you grow apart, just saying. Oh, so that means everybody, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. We're like halfway through this episode and I haven't found what everybody is talking about yet, but I feel like it is coming. Like right there. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of my connection with Bendity, and I can't share it with you guys. I would love to share it though, but I can't. Is it rapping? <laughs> 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 
I never thought we would see the day that Akechi, Goro Akechi, Robin, <laughs> we've seen his VA dance in that Persona 5 special thing that I, <laughs> I posted on Twitter. <laughs> but to hear him rap, like, that is just the icing on the cake. I mean, it's the best thing. When you have the Phantom Thieves, like, literally just all just being stupid and doing something together, and then he just, like, runs up in. <laughs> and he's like, I'm gonna do it, too. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love this cast. <laughs> the P5 cast in this cast is so good. It makes you wonder why you don't really get to see a lot of, um, moments with the cast and like doing like a fan event and they're just like reading something from like a brochure in character it's just like, the cutest thing ever if the cast of p5 could do it why can't like any pretty here i mean would you want to really do it now with the pandemic going on not really so mm -hmm. unless it was like live stream so much better Thank you. Cause that was such a loss. <laughs>
Is it growing again inside of it? Mm -hmm. So that a new generation can appreciate the tree as well. I'm gonna cry every time. Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was a feel-good cry. Oh my god! Oh god, I can't stop. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. This was a good episode. Probably maybe one of the best episodes so far for this season. I mean Ooh, I wasn't expecting what had happened in this episode to go down. But it was good. I love the use of friendship in this episode and how internal your I mean, yeah, it's eternal, eternal. Your bonds are supposed to be with your friends and that no matter what, even if you do separate, you're still friends. Maybe you're not, but not close as you were, but there's always time for you to come back together as a group and as friends and to still hang out and stuff. Even though, yeah, you can't really hang out with everybody as of right now because of this pandemic. But there's nothing wrong with sending a text message, an email, a phone call, a FaceTime call, video chat, whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. And so it's just the best thing in the world. And so you have to like keep those friendships with your friends really close to you and important because you don't know what you have until it's gone. It, this episode kind of reminded me of the fact that I wasn't able to say goodbye to one of my friends. Because we weren't friends anymore, but I still cared for her. And the day that she passed away was one of the most, like, heart-wrenching things for me. Because way before that, the last time I saw her was, like, two years when we were having a hurricane here. When I was just going to the store. But, I mean, yeah, just keep your friendship to your friends, close and everything. Always call them. It doesn't always have to be every day because not everybody wants to talk every day. Some people do, some people don't. You just talk whenever you can. And it doesn't mean that, like, you can pause, like, on wherever you guys are and still hang out. And then it could be a couple of weeks, maybe a month later, and you hang out again. And it's like nothing's ever happened. And you value those friendships. And you take them close to heart. But yeah. Alright, let's talk about <laughs> the little Easter egg. Um, so yeah, I, I like I said, I went into this episode not knowing anything. I literally was avoiding Twitter all day yesterday. Anytime I went on to Twitter, I was literally just like going to tweet something and then I instantly would leave. I would stay on my home screen. Um and make sure that, like, my page didn't show me anything and stuff like that. So, thank God that I avoided it. And it's cute. It's a little, just, like, a little subtle thing. Like, oh, hey, here's an Ojo Munch me. <laughs> Easter egg. I was thinking that, like, it was going to be just the girls coming into this episode. But it, it's a little subtle hint. And I liked it. It just, like I said, it reminds me of the connection that I have with Bendity that I can't really talk about because... Um, the person who did it, we, me and him talked about it one day and I remember he was like, oh, if we ever meet one day, that's what I'll tell you. And so when I rewatched, um, Bun Dream season one and I found it and I told him, I was like, is it this? And he was like, yeah. And I was just like, oh, it's so sweet. Like, thank you. And it was just like the best thing ever. It's just, ah, oh, 
it's just a little subtle hint thing. That's what it is. It's just there in the episode of Bang Dream. I could tell you what episode it is, and you could probably go find it yourself if you really want to. But, I mean, I don't know. It's something that I love to keep to myself. I mean, like, I think about, what, two months ago, I showed it again to my mom. And my mom was just still in awe about it and stuff. And so she was like, oh. But yeah, I mean, I think the little little subtle hint to Ojo Magical Door and me was really sweet. But I was expecting it to be like, oh, are they going to be in this episode or something like that? But I mean, because like yesterday, when I got a, a tweet from a friend and showing hearts, I was over here thinking like, oh, is it just going to be like a weird subtle hint to like start Trinkle Pretty here? Like, I don't know. Like, it could have, like, I was thinking that. And then like later on in the day, I was kind of thinking like Mermaid Melody vibes for some weird reason. I was like... It'd be really funny if they put, like, Mermaid Melody or, like, freaking Sugar Sugar Rune or any other type of magical girl at witchy-type show as, like, whatever this Easter egg thing. I was not thinking Ojo Magical Dory Me because Ojo Magical Dory Me was, like, on my bottom scale for it. I was, like, yeah. like I, I was sitting here thinking in my head. I was, like, Ojo Magical Dory Me? I was, like, no. Mm -mm. But I think the people who... um who are currently doing this season also possibly did Ojo Magical Dory Me. I don't really know. I know the anniversary, um, I think it's like, what, the 15th or 20th anniversary for Ojo Magical Dory Me? I think that's past, but I think they're supposed to be getting a movie, like, sometime later on this year. And I saw the poster for it, and I really, really want to watch it because as someone who really loves the series as well, um... At first, I thought it was the girls older, but it's not. They're in the background, and there's, like, three older women, like, I think, trying to look for, like, the solving of witches or something like that. I don't know, but, like, mm, maybe one day when it finally comes to stuff, maybe I'll either do a reaction on it, or I will just watch it on my own to just get those feels. But this is a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. This might have to be, like, my number one favorite episode until um, Cure Earth finally comes in. Which, aka Umi from Love Live, because even though Umi is not my best girl, I mean, I think possibly by the end of this, Cure Earth might be my favorite. Even though I still love Nadoka Grace, because mm, she's just best girl Aoi Yuki right there. Like, mm, mwah. <laughs> But yeah, I honestly cannot wait to see when Umi's VA finally is able to voice this character and come in. It's just going to be the best thing ever. And it's gonna be so good and you're literally probably gonna hear me do just as much as I do Persona 5 references during this show. I might even do Love Live. I don't really know. <laughs> I ain't gonna know until we get there but other than that guys that was my reaction for you towards episode 16. Yeah 16 of Healing Good Pretty here. If you guys enjoyed it please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. So the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 17. Bye guys!